Hey everyone, it's Steve here at the DJ Lab. Take a look at the new engine DJ update for the firmware. And I'm going to be doing this on the Denon DJ SC Live 4. Already downloaded the uh, update there. So it's an image file. All you got to do is show it in the finder if you're on a Mac. You're going to right click on that thing. You're going to copy it. And then you're just going to paste it into your USB drive and eject it. I've already done this. So let's hop on over to the SC Live 4. Okay, so on the SC Live 4, you're going to go on your sends, go into the About Update, and you just click on Update Firmware. Hit the Reboot. Hit the Reboot. And it's going to tell you that it's actually found on the web, the 2.4 on the web, but it's also found on the USB. Because initially, when this came out, it wasn't available over Wi-Fi. Typically, I always update over the Wi-Fi, but... I've also heard people say, and this is right from Denon's technical support, the best way you can do things is buy USB or the SD card because just in case your Wi-Fi messes up or something happens halfway through, USB is still the most reliable way to do it. So you can just hit that. I've already done it and it's going to go through. Well, we'll do it again just to show you because I don't think there's any harm in doing an update over top of what the new stuff already. Um, so this is going to be taking a minute or two. This probably also depends on the speed of your uh, SD card or USB, whatever you're using. And they do recommend you put that image file on an empty stick, but this stick is full of all kinds of stuff and uh, it works no problem. So it says it's going to reboot when it's done. One of the big things they've changed here is the ability to edit your beat grid on a full screen and have a little bit more control of it. Personally, it's not something I've ever needed. You know, Matt, the beat grid was edited and worked good enough. Typically, I didn't have to go and do that much work because if you really have to do a lot of work for beat gridding on a song with a lot of variable BPM changes and stuff, you're better to do it on the desktop, I think. But at least we have the option. So you see here at 2.40. Let's change the brightness down so we can get a better look at the screen. Everything is lighting up here. And we're in. Now initially, let me just say, one of the steps you're not seeing here is... What it initially did was update the controller. So that happened. Then it showed a little update thing was happening. Updated the controller. Did a reboot. And we were back in again. Let's go into Amazon Music for a second. Just to quickly pull up some random thing. Mariah Carey, some Merry Christmas song. And here's the downfall about Amazon Music while we're at it. There is no BPM information to look up. So it's got to download it. And it's taken quite a while. Considering I have fast internet. And I'm not even using the top um, FLAC file stuff. I got like a medium or something. But turn this down. We don't have the copyright strikes. It's got to build... All this waveform information, the stripe they call it. And then if we want to edit the beat grid, I'm not going to edit, but just to show you what the screen looks like. That you have, you know, your downbeat left, a downbeat right, shift in it. You can insert an anchor, shift things around, half the BPM, increase, decrease, tap, tempo. Me personally, you know, use the wheel, use the edge of the wheel here to move the grid. But yeah, that's something they changed. Uh, you can look in the notes. There's a few other things they adjusted, but really nothing that was on my wish list or yours probably because there's some things that we wanted to see and we don't have them. Like, for instance, the big wish for me would be the fact if I want to make this, oh, let's back up here. Let's say if I want to add this to my prepared list, right? 
now I got to go back here to the so it's in my prepare list but what I need to do is I literally need to go in here change my source go into my stick now I got to go into my prepare list I don't know why the prepare isn't right there for me to jump to without having to jump back to my original source that kind of sucks the other thing I wish as well too I can play this as a playlist I can change my play order um even though I got no bpm information but I wish I could take this playlist and save this my prepare list as an actual playlist so that way when I analyze all my music and I have it all set in the order I want it I could like save it as a playlist something a cdj 3000 can do that this can't anyways guys if you have any more questions about the firmware update or any issues doing it just comment below let me know and uh, perhaps i can help out but it should be pretty straightforward i'll talk to you all soon